Hey gang, it's Coach MG. So, how many serves do you have? Do you have one? Is one enough? Yeah. Let's talk about the different kind of serves that you might have in your bag the next time you play pickleball. Most players have a flat or slightly topspin serve as their go-to. Usually doesn't travel very high, but usually can travel pretty deep and has good pace. Mine looks something like this. And that's a fine serve. The problem is, as you start to get up in player rating and play against better and better competition, it's not a very hard serve to handle. And so you need to have at least one alternate. My alternate serve is what I would call a cutter or the screwball, where you're gonna hit underneath the ball and make it curve to the right if you're playing a right-hand player going to their backhand. Let's take a look at that. Now that serve is even more effective sometimes if you hit it easier because the slower it's traveling with the same amount of spin, that gives the ball a chance to bite more on the court and kick off and pull your opponent away off the court. Let's try a couple of those. So if you have those two serves, now you have an arsenal. You have a couple of different weapons you can use situationally. And if people have trouble handling one or the other of those, you're going to want to lean heavily on that serve. But there are some additional serves that I use just to change the pace. And one of them is I like to add more top spin and height to the serve to keep it deeper and have it kick back at my opponent. So let's take a look at a couple of those. So that's more of a change of pace serve. If you've been going low and hard at your opponent, that may catch them off guard and mess up their timing. So you may want to add that one to your arsenal. And then the final serve that I use is the lob serve. We're going to hit the ball really high and really deep, very softly. And the idea here is just to throw something different in and maybe get that timing off. Because you'll occasionally find a player that has, maybe more than occasionally, that has trouble handling that serve because they're so used to hitting that hard low shot. Let's take a look at a couple of those. And you'd be surprised that in the middle of a game, if your team has stalled out in scoring and you're constantly playing defense, how a serve like that can sometimes turn it around. If it works for you, go with it again. Keep using it until it stops working. Oh, and one last thing. If you can't get some of these serves in at least 80% of the time, it's probably not a serve you can use in a game yet. What you need to do in that case is practice, practice, practice. Get out early, hit more balls, have somebody hit them back to you. When you can get it in 80% or better of the time, then you can add it to your arsenal, make more shots, win more points. So, how many serves do you need? Well, you need one that will keep your opponent off balance, and you need one to be able to power through them. But if you have three or four, that's great too. Hope to see you out there on the courts. Use these tips to have more fun, win more points, and win more games playing pickleball. If you like what you see, please hit the like, share button, and subscribe. See you next time.